Michael Ravy came into the NCAA championships much the same way he has in 1997 as the undisputed top-ranked wrestler in his class. Only an upset of monumental proportions would keep him from his rightful crown. But as his wife, Lisa, looked on helplessly in deep anguish, the unthinkable occurred. Steve Marionetti of Illinois won a 13-10 decision and brought this champion to be down to his knees in front of the Hawkeyes' home crowd. I'm looking to win this match. The past is the past. The future is the future. And the future is tonight. As he was in 1995, McElravey is undefeated entering the finals tonight and has every right to be confident, even cocky, about his talent and his wrestling strategy. Do you have a go-to move? You're very versatile, but... About seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Do you want to share maybe a few? Now you'll see them. The only thing that kept McElravey away from victory this season was an unseen opponent. He sat out eight duel matches after suffering two concussions in December. He knew it was time to step back when he found it difficult to even sit down. He got hit in the head a couple times, uh, like once, and then about three days later, the same occurrence. It weren't real bad concussions, but two in a row compounds of problems, so that's kind of what happened, and I kind of tried to train a little bit and wrestle, and uh, rather than just taking some time off, but eventually I had to end up taking about five weeks off. So that's a very difficult injury. You can't ice it, you can't elevate it, I mean, there's nothing you can do but rest it, and it's frustrating, but, and um, to test it, you basically have to re-injure it. There he is, two-time national champion Lincoln McElravey, and you see the effects of that series of concussions he's got that extra pad on the forehead it was up to him dan gable said when he could come back and he took it very very slowly i'm sure frustrating for a lot of people jeff but he came back at a good time well, he certainly did he took the five weeks off to make sure he was healthy again he came back and he is wrestling dominantly chris bono has been frustrated throughout the first two periods. We begin the third period tied at 2-2. He and Lincoln McElravey, but McElravey has riding time, but as we speak, Bono is erasing it. It's down at the 102. Down the 102 line, and if he can hold him for just three seconds, he'll then cut him loose. It'll be a tie match, and it'll come down to who can get the takedown. And that's gonna do it. We're gonna cut him loose now. Maybe. <laughs> One point for McElravey. He now takes a 3-2 to two lead. But no longer has the riding time. No, Bono can win with a takedown. But there's lots of time. Minute 30 left. McElravey unable to get to the legs of Bono. Despite the low score, there has been tremendous action in this match. These two have not just stood still. They have attacked each other, but so much of their motion has taken them to the out of bounds. between McElravey and a national title. And McElravey is still moving forward. Another oh, a point for Bono. We're tied at three. And it could be a takedown here for Bono. No points yet. They're out of bounds. Oh, my gosh. 11 seconds to go. Three to three. McElravey 
trying to turn the corner on Bono here, and then Bono turns to face. Back to live to action. Drag and get around behind. He was unable to, but he earned a point stalling call against McElravey. That is not a discover. Three to three. We're going to overtime. And the clocks haven't been running. The clocks have not been yeah, running. Yeah, they did. They just reset it. So they'll start this over here. Overtime, a two-minute period. Sudden death. Oh, McElravey has Bono in trouble here. In on a single leg. Bono does a great job of sprawling out of it. Oh, a great action there. How big was the erasing of riding time that Chris Bono was able to take away from McElravey? That was the championship right there. Certainly gave Bono the opportunity to extend the match, and he's taken full advantage of it. Lincoln McElravey has just become the fifth Iowa Hawkeye to win three NCAA titles. It's his last match as a Hawkeye. Here's how he did it. Came through. Bono just got himself in trouble, and Lincoln was able to take him down. And he comes through with a victory at 150. And Lincoln McElravey did it on his wife Lisa's birthday. Quite a different finish to the last time he was here at the NCAA Championship. And Jeff Blatnick is with our champion right now. Lincoln, an overtime match. Did you plan on it going this far? No. Absolutely not. He's tough. I mean, he's, uh, we've wrestled nine times now, and it's like it's real hard to wrestle him, but I did not plan on that. I was unable to finish some of my shots early. Got tired and a little frustrated, but glad it's over with, really. Well, Lincoln, congratulations. National Championship. Does this close that wound from a couple years ago when you lost in the final? It helped. Uh, to be honest with you, I, I consider myself to be somewhat a, of an also ran. There's guys that have won four. A lot of guys have won three, and some of them have been unbelievable wrestlers. Well, you helped just set a brand new team total. So you have a record under your belt. That's nice. Go Iowa. Very Lincoln, congratulations. Thank you. Very proud to be a part of uh, what Dan Gable has established and just lucky to, to know him. All right, Lincoln McElravey, congratulations. Congratulations to Iowa. They're up to 162 points, the new NCAA record but still counting. The 158s are next, back with more from the Unidome.